Hey everybody, this is Ryan Bouse. Um, welcome to the coldest Abolition 101. Uh, we are currently standing in Arctic weather. Uh, the temperature right here is exactly what we are experiencing right now. I came out here because I wanted to pass on some very important wisdom, I think, that a pastor of mine had uh, given me last summer. Um, pastor Joe had to uh, humble me quite a bit, actually, um, because I was being very prideful, and I wanted to go out and I wanted to uh, do an evangelism outreach that we had planned, irregardless of the fact that it was pouring rain, and we had, uh, you know, some older people with us, we had children with us, um, and it took me some time to really understand, but it was definitely a pride issue. You see, Right now, if I were to take off my face mask, in the time that it takes me to make this video, my entire face would be frostbitten. Um, it, it is definitely well below the healthy limit to be standing outside of a clinic or standing out and agitating on the streets. Um, you really couldn't have a conversation with another person in this kind of weather. And uh, I, I just wanted to talk about the idea of you know, being smart in this kind of weather and being uh, smart in how we dedicate ourselves. Tim Locklear had an amazing video that he had uh, made at one point about balancing things out, balancing out our family, our downtime, our work, our devotions, and our work as abolitionists, and how there had to be a good, even balance in all of these things. We have to be balanced in the work that we're doing. And part of that, I believe, does involve things like the weather. It involves things like how we fast. Um, I'm not going to take the time out here to go through the whole story, but Pastor Joe, uh, when explaining to me his heart behind things, was talking about King Saul. And King Saul had decided that he was going on a fast, and he was going to force all the people in the land to go on a fast with him problem was is that he was in the middle of a war and he had soldiers out there that he was forcing to fast and they were being devastated because they were weakened they weren't capable of doing their job um, because they were being forced onto this extreme fast and so when you uh, when you make a commitment say you know we, we are gonna be out every week on Saturday at the clinics and you look at the weather, and the weather says that Saturday is going to have negative 40 degree wind chills. Or you look at the weather, and it's going to be a blizzard or something like that. There's no shame in saying, we're going to be wise. And maybe we'll go out Friday instead of Saturday this week. Or maybe, you know, we're going to stay home, and we're going to pray, we're going to fast, we're going to do some reading. Or we're going to have a meeting together and discuss the work that we're doing and discuss our tactics, things like that. Just being safe, being smart, knowing our own bodily limits. There, there's no pride in dying because you wanted to spend three hours outside of a clinic on a day that spending more than an hour could easily kill you. There's no good that comes from working yourself to the bone so that you're so sick that you can't provide for your family or you can't take care of your children or, or that you can't go out and preach the gospel the next day. It, it's about understanding our own human limits. It's about understanding what it really means to know that God is saying to go do something that's really dangerous versus I'm doing something really dangerous out of a prideful spirit. Just again, you know, when we look at Saul, he, the, he had victory not because he was fasting and forcing everybody else to fast, but because another man recognized that the fast was killing soldiers, that the fast was causing them to lose the war. And he went and he broke the fast and he became a champion. Because fasting was good. Going out to the clinics is good. And if it's 30 degrees outside and it's really cold, but you can bundle yourself up, by all means, go out to the clinic. However, when it's negative 15 degrees or negative 12 degrees and you got a negative 40 degree wind chill, it's time to say, let's stay indoors today. Let's, you know, stay in prayer. 
let's pray for the women that are going into the clinics, let's agitate a little bit on Facebook, and let's prepare for what we're going to do when the weather gets better out. Otherwise, we're not being wise, we're being fools. We're saying that we know better, that we can handle so-and-so, that we can do this on our own. And, and honestly, to die to stand outside of a clinic is generally not going to be God's will. To die just so that you can go agitate a little bit downtown, or even just to get sick and to get, uh, you know, just to, to break your body, it is not wise, it's not prudent. Um, to use the word that most of us try and fly or try and run from, it's not pragmatic to go outside and to stand outside of a clinic or to stand out on the street on a day when people that are outside are dying and getting sick. It's a day to stay inside and to praise God that you have warmth, that you have heat, that you have food, that you have shelter. So. Thank you for bearing with me. I'm sure that this video is going to be so shaky because my body is shaking uncontrollably. However, I appreciate you sticking with me. And uh, Pastor Joe, I told you I was going to go outside and make this video. I did it. I have uh, officially manned up for you. God bless everybody and we'll see you next week.